I'm like nervous. Why am I nervous? <laughs> Shall we replay that? I've never seen that in my life. Are you? Wow. And, I, and I'm really upset at all my other Jimin biases on Twitter that always send me great Jimin stuff that I haven't seen before who have never sent me this. How can you be this insensitive? Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brooke Morrison. Of course, I'm a digital host based out of LA. If you subscribe to me, you already know this. And I'm here with Tetris. This is somebody that you guys probably know from interviewing a lot of your favorite artists, including BTS. The one and only. Hi, Tetris ah. BTS, what's up? First of all, we had him uh, do the podcast episode. So if you're not subscribed to the podcast yet, find it on Acast or uh, Spotify, which we're finally on Spotify. It's called Fandom Culture, so that conversation yeah, amazing. please go check her out, by the way. Wait. Shameless plug, because it's so good. She's such a great conversationalist. One of the best conversations I've ever had. I'm going to cry. You like, he so was good. crying earlier. Like, it was just I a good conversation. Either. We love K-pop. We love BTS. We love, Disney. You know, Disney. So we, check yes, it out. Yes, yes. Thank you for that. Uh, so, so it came to my attention that you've probably never seen this before. Yeah. Um, you know, some of us joined the army a little bit later in the game. BTS's showcase. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this. I'm literally like, are they babies? They're babies. They're like oh JK. Is, <laughs> he looks so young, and it's it's one of my favorite things to watch because it's their start. Like this is this is a this is amazing. I mean, this I is this you. is legendary. So it I need legendary. to see it. I should see it. Now yes. I'm embarrassed I haven't. But oh my god, let's see what the boys got. This is no more dream, and we are bulletproof part two. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh goodness. <laughs> I'm like nervous. Why am I nervous? So nervous. I'm nervous. the best like... answer. We love this. <laughs> like these people don't even realize what no. they're seeing. No. They don't. hair. Oh my god. The styling. Oh, whoa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where we... Okay. Those moves would literally put people into graves currently. Wow. RM. <laughs> like, I used to get my hair cut like that in, in college, so honestly, dude, wow. The hat. That's the, an iconic J Hope hat. Yeah. Oh my, oh my God. Look, do you see? Oh, oh my goodness. This is a whole, whoa, okay. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> So, <clears throat> what do you think so far? Uh, it's, my brain is in so many different places. First of all, I'm overwhelmed by the styling. Like, yes. how the coolness, like the urban swag, like right. freaking Jimin over here. Because as we know, their style has grown and, and evolved and oh done so many different things. But right. I don't think I've ever actually seen Jimin dress like this. He's normally so, like, crafted and soft right, and light. Right, right. And I'm like, to see him in the, like, urban wear, like, oh okay. my goodness. And he Jungkook came out of the gate with this like swag. And he's normally, again, such a like soft, pretty boy. I'm, I know him as just like John Cook and I'm smooth, you know? And like- <laughs> He's still smooth here, hey. But he just hey. came in, he came in like, I'm he did, ready. He did, I'm a superstar and you don't even know. This is rapping John Cook. And I have never- This is rapping John Cook. Th so if I, de how far back do I gotta go to get more rapping John Cook? The very beginning. The oh, very beginning, goodness. like the first maybe two albums. I mean, look at this like chain. Too, too cool for school. Look at this chain. It's the chains, the hat, the sunglasses. Like and J-Hope in the back right now? Yeah, with the, the hat. hat. With it's the hat. It's the bone hat. Wow. It's the bone Is hat. Is that on okay. eBay somewhere for $2 million? I bet. I'm, honestly, <laughs> you find it and let me know because I would love to see that. Um, so we're gonna, we're just going to like go back a little bit to see the, the abs again. With the little because that was a moment. <laughs> yeah, Jim is the hat. <laughs> Wow, and B <laughs> at the same time. I love this. Sugar, that's stop. Debut sugar, sugar. Yeah. Jimin with the arms. Hey, hey, come so, on, B. Hey. They seem like so much more like com everybody's so much more comfortable rapping. Yeah, because that's how they started. Oh. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh my. Jen! I cannot handle this. I did not. Oh, how? I, I feel like I've never seen that gin before. And I've seen this before. I, why did I forget about that? This is amazing. This is like an iconic choreo. The click, click, bang, bang. This is. Honestly, I, just, I have no <laughs> words. And you know who my bias is. And my bias is my bias because that's who it is. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, wow. What's happening in front of me, Everything. I can't even handle. You know, Jimin was known for his abs. He was well, known for like his, his like being like really muscular back then. I mean, and he's a trained dancer. Yeah. Well, oh, I mean, they're all sure. of course for trained sure. dancers, but like, yeah. you know, he's he he works hard, so that's mm -hmm. crazy. Always, always. But like, look at Jimin. And he sounds so good still. Yes, I love this choreo. It's such good choreography. And this was their first performance? It was one of them. This is their showcase. Wow. Like they were like, we're BTS. This is like the we're BTS performance. And RM still, no matter what, from from then to now, yeah. he just he gives the I'm your leader energy. He just has it. 1,000%. Oh my god, look at this. Man. Oh, hey, come on now, right. come on, Koyo, come on, movement. The hair, I can't, I, the hair. Right. It's the hair. It's the, it's the hair. hair for me. Yeah, look, Jungkook is so small. Look at Jin. Oh, yeah, Jin, yeah. He was, you know, I think he was like 22. How old is he here? 20, 21? And he's like, to me, Jin always gives me like, such kind energy, like yeah. such a sweetheart. For sure. To see him be like. I love, uh, it just feels so opposite of what we know them as now. Yeah, it's like a whole flip. Yes. Hey. I love this oh. They're hitting their choreo so hard, which yeah. they do anyway. They but train. it's just like normally when you, you go back far in somebody's career, you're like, oh, they, they were just learning and they were right. feeling it out. Right. But they, there's, this is their showcase, yeah. and they're already hitting choreography this perfectly. And yes. of course, they've been trained, but I just, wow. No, they took this very seriously. Yeah, this is iconic, this J-Hope breakdown. Oh my oh, wait, wait, wait. God. Watch the hat, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see it. Watch this. Wait, wait. Oh! <laughs> hey, that, hey! That trick was iconic. Come on, get it, JK, hey, hey. Hey. Oh my god, I didn't even notice these like boot shoes he has on. Boot shoes! Oh, I need yes, them. Yes, boot shoes. Hey. Hey. Oh my god. The swag. Oh. oh. <laughs> JK's I like, mean. You already know. You already know. You already know. Who knew that man was going to give us Euphoria? He was out here trying to put people out. I told you, he was known for the Mavs, man. I, he was known. We're on TV, Two, three, four, five. Look, first of all, why does Jung Cook look like he just walked out of Hot Topic? Like, just like literally, he just walked out. Oh my God, they look like such like young. What is 2013? Yes. That's oh, that's really, like 2013. That's why. Vibe. Yeah. That was the 2013. This was the young... height of fashion. Oh this yeah. Was the height. Oh my God. Right? Yes. The, we were like, all the fake gauges. You oh see yeah. That? Uh huh. Yeah. Like, oh my everybody. goodness. Look at him. Hello, I'm Jungkook, the youngest. Oh. I'm 17. 17. The hair. Why is this energy? Do why am I watering my eyes working up? Like why? Look at his eyebrows. <laughs> 지민입니다. 나이는 19이고요. 팀에서 춤과 보컬을 맡고 있습니다. 안녕하세요. 도입니다. 나이는 19이고요. 방탄에서 보컬을 맡고 있습니다. 안녕하세요. 웹몬스터입니다. 20살의 리더고요. 이름에 걸맞게 팀에서 웹을 하고 있습니다. The confidence. 안녕하세요. The confidence. I'm a leader. What's up? 21살이고요. 팀에서 웹을 맡고 있습니다. You're amazing. 안녕하세요. 방탄소년단의 마태형 감독입니다. Oh, yes. I was 22. I was right the first time. Wow. 
Do you know these songs? No. We gotta go back. I gotta take you to a K-pop store. We gotta buy the album. I was actually surprised at um, SoFi that I knew everything. Yeah. Because I thought I was gonna be like, oh, I don't know how far back they're gonna go. No, they did a lot. Yeah, they did like all their newer stuff. A lot of us were a little sad we wanted to hear like Dimple and Pipe Piper. It didn't happen. I feel like they're gonna do it at the the tour we'll have this year the big one or two my friend Marjorie he survived to he's my bias writer uh, you're gonna see me in a couple weeks, weeks and I'm gonna have that. Yeah, please do. I'm just gonna bring it back. Please do. <laughs> do a side by side. Yeah. You know? They've always had the best messages in all of their oh, songs. Always. F, like since the very beginning. And you'll get there. 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 And everybody's like, yes, I am, yes. Junie. No more dreams. J-Hooks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Still hit. You know what? Huh. I'm just. What? I'm thinking about. I think it was Jin okay. that said in an interview. Mm -hmm that sometimes when they're doing like the all English songs now, mm. he doesn't know where he fits in or sometimes his comfortability level has changed, right? right? Mm -hmm. As they're making this new music. Interestingly enough, it's taken me going back to their roots mm -hmm. to see why he would feel that way. Right. Because the dynamite and butter and everything is so much more light mm -hmm. and poppy, and especially with the English lyrics, than this. Right. Because oh, this yeah. is... In your face, yes. it's hip hop, it's yes. urban, it's raw, and so I can see how he's in the studio singing "Permission to Dance." Like, how, where, how did I get here? Yeah. I like both, but I just, I just thought of Jen's words while I'm watching this. Right, it, it's take it, they've they've gone through so many different transitions and so many different sounds, and, and they honestly they've killed them all, which is not everybody can testament do that. Testament to I mean, talent. Like, testament to talent. Like I, I'll go back to this and I'll be like, this this hits hard too. Like this I love is hitting. This. That's what I'm saying. This like this is. is crazy. This is these are great songs and great raps and great like lyricism. And and to see then to now they're so different, but they're still the same people. And yeah, and they're able to bring crazy. this to yes. what they're doing now. Um, but now I know. I mean, we'll go in a rabbit hole. Yeah, but I'm yeah. desperate for an album. Well, I I'm like so thirsty for an album to that. see what they would do because B was great, mm -hmm. but I feel like. B we happened, and then it got bigger with Butter and Permission to Dance, mm -hmm. and I'm like, now I want to see them create this like massively big pop album with urban undertones that I know is coming yeah, from them. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's just going to have everything on it. That's right. I, I think we're all, we all kind of want to sit in that space that Black Swan was in. I feel like for, That's a great pocket. It is, but I, I just, I think that... We're gonna see more of that. If, if, in my opinion, of course, I can't, I can't tell the future. I don't know what they've been working on, but I do think we're gonna see more of that. If I not mean, one song, maybe like a few. And see, Black Swan is a great song, but I think what I appreciate even more about Black Swan is the visual. Ugh. Like the choreography, the movement. It's just, it just is. Amazing. Great. Everything about it. Everything By the way, about it. I was in the front row for Black Swan at SoFi, and when I tell you. I didn't even think I was in, in the real life. I thought I was in the in a dream. I could not I like believe what was held, happening to me. I like that you held my hand because I needed I needed that. Like I'm I, just, I want you to that, understand like, I wasn't that prepared. I didn't understand how much that was gonna affect me. I was like, <laughs> "What is happening? Can I? Is this real life? That's my dream. You you lived my dream. You lived my dream. I couldn't believe it. You, I could not believe it. What I want in life is what you have 
We're going to do it next time. Next tour, we're going to be together at the front row when they're doing Black Swan. I'm, I'm putting that into the universe. Okay, we're going to go. Because you need to experience that. I might cry in front of you. Ooh, I, I mean, I cried. I, I was cry. shocked. That's another thing. <laughs> I was shocked at how much I cried during the show. Really? I didn't I didn't walk into this thinking I would cry at all. But as soon as they start doing their speeches at the yeah. beginning and they start oh, talking yeah. to the crowd about how long it's been and how happy. Yes. Tears. Uh, mid, middle of the show, at some point, Jimin was talking about how much he loved the Army. Tears then. And then at the end, during Permission to Dance, when the confetti was happening and I knew it was over, but I had had so much fun and I didn't want it to be over. Bawling. Bawling. I was just like, how is Bawling. this happening? We are all we are all scarred by that permission to dance instrumental that they played at the very beginning and the end <laughs> of the shows. And that will yeah. now it just triggers like that. Yeah. I feel the same way. I okay. feel the same sorry, way. Sorry, sorry. Tangent, okay. distractions. And then we got RM with his hair. We gotta like we gotta watch it. And these you know shades. <laughs> Oh my god, Tay and his fluffy hair. I will say, these boys do so much with their hair, I don't know how their hair even survives. Right? I love Shuga in this. His outfit and everything. And I mean, how can you not respect this talent? Like, everybody's so good. There's nobody not hitting it. There's nobody exactly. not bringing it. Look at Jimin. From day one. From day one. I need John Cook's shoes. <laughs> I'm obsessed with him. Yes. Yes. So I need way more of this, by the way. Yeah. Like now. You gotta get the album. Well, I'm saying I need more of in their new music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want yeah, more yeah. sugar. Uh oh. No, Always. I want more of him. Always. Stop. Yes, Jin! Oh, my God. Yes. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes, the signs. Such a liar. She got to say. <laughs> Shall we replay that? This is the iconic Jimin moment. You've never seen this? I've never seen that in my life. Are you? Wow. You're? Wow. How are you a Jimin stan? You've never seen this. I didn't. I just and, I, and I'm really upset at all my other Jimin biases on Twitter that always send me great Jimin stuff that I haven't seen before who have never sent me this. I've never seen that clip video moment ever. This is the OG Jimin moment. Wow. This is like what, what got a lot of people into standing the group in general was this Jimin moment. Since day one. Since the man day been out one. here killing it, out here slaying, murdering lives. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, uh, let's go. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're gonna go back to home. Yep. <laughs> I have a question for you after this. Oh, or you oh, can yeah. so you can stop. Well, I mean, or you can just keep doing that. Question. Yes. I've noticed. Mm -hmm with BTS mm -hmm. that they tend to try like shy away from showing themselves now like, like in, a, um, in a, a sexual way right. or, a, or like a sh you don't see like shirtless pics or mm -hmm. them lifting their shirt up that often you got a little bit of it in the black swim where they kind of happens but is right. that something that is with what happened within the fandom or them or culturally I've just always noticed that because as right. you know in western civilization with most of our boy bands mm -hmm. They were like, love to do it. It's a part of the show. You know, they just come out, usher and all that stuff. Mm -hmm, they just love mm -hmm. to lift their shirts up. But I noticed that they don't do it very often. And when it happens, it causes like right. mass hysteria. Yeah. But like, so but I see they were was, doing it here. So I'm like, right. that's interesting to me. So around this time as well, you had groups like Big Bang mm -hmm. who were really big who were just shirtless. 
Like this was, and I, actually I did, I did a reaction to Big Bang. And I also asked this question. I was like, it seems like they're just out here with like body parts and like, you know, everybody is half dressed or whatever. What was this? So Big Bang apparently did break a lot of those stereotypes in the first place of, you know, we are just going to do what we want and we don't care if like, you know, it's shocking to be shirtless or, you know, do those kind of things. So this was around the same time as those things. And so I think it was kind of a movement in K-pop in general where it just became popular to do this. And everybody was kind of just like exploring that part of musicality and, you know, being kind of more sexual or being more manly and masculine. Uh, Jimin's even talked about this. He tried to work out all the time because he wanted to be more masculine. He wanted to have the abs. He wanted to have the arms and everything. But then eventually realized that that's not his true self. Mm -hmm. And so I think as the industry grew and as K-pop changed, it did become more popular, I think, or more acceptable to be covered in that way. And then I think fans just got used to that as time went on. But also them as people and as artists probably just feel more comfortable. Unless, he's, you know, JK now is like shown more chess yeah, and everything. Yeah, they'll do it every but once in a while. as I think as time goes on, like they just want to do what they want to do. If they want to show their chess, they will. If they don't, they don't. And so that's what we see now. Now. Okay, cool. But yeah, if know. anybody who wants to correct me in the comments, of course, go ahead because I might, you know, have missed a few things or you know, maybe not, not know exactly what I'm talking about at all. But I've asked the same question. So you're not alone in, in being like, what was the difference between 2013 and now? And now. Yeah. yeah. Very big difference. Oh, wow. Another iconic BTS choreo. Hey, hey. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yes. Oh, are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? They are going to do it. Okay, watch. Wow. Wow. This is like the base of BTS. I already love them so much. <laughs> and you're like making me love them more, which is why I'm addicted because they always get better. Yes, and I'm, they do. Oh, wow. Uh, yes. Thank you so much. Listen, you're welcome. For educating me <laughs> and putting me on game because that was epic. I was jumping in around like mic drop mm -hmm. and like um, even Boy With Love and stuff. And it, it's just a whole different vibe. Yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. But I think this is more like mic drop kind of had a throwback vibe to this. It was like, you know, kind of, it made more sense, like, debut BTS and mic drop. I feel like it's kind yeah, of along the same, more. you know, uh, wavelength a little bit. But yeah, they, they're, they've done so much since then. It's insane to see how much they've changed and grown as artists. I, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Honestly, I was not expecting this today. Yeah. And then she put this on me and I was like, oh, wait, no, I don't think I've seen that. Woo! Yep, worth it. Worth it, right? now, I'm, now I just want to go back to another tour, so now I'm sad. Oh, now we'll I'm go. just like, I want we'll to see go. them again. Can we'll they please go. announce dates? I know, guys, please. I know you're on hiatus right now. You're taking a break. Mm -hmm. You deserve mm -hmm. a break because you were really busy. Mm -hmm. But please, come back to us. Come back. We miss you. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. We're going to go. Um, I'm going to hold you to that. We're going to see Black Swan again. Okay, mm -hmm. so we, mm -hmm. that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. um, but okay, guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Of course, what else we should react to? Tetris. Tell them where, they, where you can find, they can find you on everything. Um, um, it's ITS, Tetris, T-E-T-R-I-S, Bish, B-I-S-H, and I'm that on everything. And remember the uh, podcast episode as well. Make sure to check that out, ACAB, Spotify. I will link it below, Fandom Culture. He was on episode number three. And you can find me on IG at I am Brooke Morrison. As always, love you guys. Thank you. Bye.